education in any form is a necessary ingredient to achieve economic growth and development. Goal number four of the 17-point Sustainable Development Goals encourages not just inclusive but equitable quality education but the promotion of lifelong learning opportunities for everyone. In Nigeria, education is a vital part of strategic growth and development, an important strategy that is executed across federal and state lines to build prosperity. In Kwara State, the State University Kwasu, conceived under the administration of Dr. Bukola Saraki, is one institution in Nigeria that has set an innovative template for what higher education should be through homegrown and custom-made solutions developed to address the critical needs of the state and the nation. Kwasu is not only our foremost state-owned tertiary institution, but it is also pivotal to our determined effort to expand access to quality education at a higher level functional tuition and engineering development. In February 2009, the university made a grand entry into the tertiary education landscape with an innovative approach to fill the existing gaps in the nation's education sector to, among other things, drive the nation forward socially and technologically. This vision has been thoroughly implemented over the years under the leadership of the Vice-Chancellor Professor Abdul Rashid Nala, who has been the Vice-Chancellor of the University since its start. Uh, in seven years, we thank God Almighty, uh, it's been an interesting story. On campus here, we say that we do not walk, we do not run, that we fly. We fly not because we are, we are too proud, but because we realize that Nigeria cannot afford to run. You know, we have to fly because we, we, where we must be yesterday, we're still struggling to be today. And, and, and Kwasu has come to fill that gap. We want to be a university that makes major impact in our society, that creates wealth for our state. Kwasu started understanding that clarity about its existence. The quality of the curriculum and teachers, among other things, has resulted in a rise in the number of applications received annually from prospective undergraduates to study at the university. When I came in here, I thought, how will this uh, university attract students? The last jam, we had close to 10,000 applicants. And they are all ready to get admitted. Learning for students of the Kwara State University is an exciting and rounded experience, complete with a serene environment, including walking precincts, paved lawns, and ornamental plants to further add to the ambience and beautify the university. Visitors to the campus are always welcome to a world-class campus, painstakingly equipped and designed to inspire creativity and foster learning. Kwa State University is really inter international in nature, both by staff and students. And our relationship with the students has been very great. You know, we have students here from Africa, across Africa, length and breadth even of Nigeria north, south, southwest, northwest, what have you. And, of course, from all over the world, Brazil, US. That exposure brings a lot of value to the system. The university is a world-class one. At least we're trying to be world-class. So students generally move from classes to hostels to library. So, and it's learning and fun. Lecturers around here are very approachable and they're very good to talk to, good to work with. And students work on numerous projects, researches. So generally learning here is very good and fun. It's, it's 
it's a world class experience, I can tell you. A tour of the campus shows an impressive level of infrastructure development going on across the campus. One of such projects is the library complex. With a capacity for 1,500 users as well as lodging facilities, the library is expected to be a 24-hour library service fully automated for 21st century learners. The school's management is quite proud of this feat and expects that when completed, the library will be the first of its kind in the country. It's going to be one of the best in the country. That library is designed to house 1,500 readers at a time. That's a lot. When you say at a time, you mean that assuming everybody who wants to use the library goes there. We will be able to sit everybody completely up to the maximum of 1,005. It also has facilities for group study. Of course, you also have conference rooms and seminar rooms in the new library. The library is also going to have a wide range of sectarian facilities. There will be a business center there where typing could be done, where photocopying could be done, where lamination could be done, all kind of sectarian activities that you are talking about. That is already provided for in the new building. Communication is key to prevent issues and avert crisis should it rear its ugly head. This is why the school's management ensures constant liaison with the students and holds dialogues with them through the students' representative assembly. We have been approaching the school with our complaint through diplomacy because one of those things as students we enjoy is uh, the academic calendar, the stability, which is a very wonderful one. So we do not want to fight with the school when there are issues. What we do is we go diplomatically. When you have a family, there will, it's not all the time that things are going to be smooth, but there will be times when there will be some misunderstanding. And the good thing is we all sit down to solve the problem. And that's the nature of the SRA. And of course, the, if there's any problem that we've been able to solve, the, the information is passed down to the colleagues. So the relations have been quite cordial. For an institution as goal-oriented as Kwasu, with a view to achieving excellence, another key priority is to constantly attract and retain the best brains across all fields of study. A university with a Medocare staff is nothing but a Medocare university. You cannot be research intensive, you cannot be after excellence and bring low level academic brains. It's not going to work. That is why in Kwasu we are very thorough in the processes of our recruitment. People have to present their research, so many have to listen, there's a process of assessment, everybody present must fill out evaluation, these are professors sitting down, other people who are scholars, they will listen, they will fill out evaluation, you will go through the department and college process. At the end of the day, you also have to meet me one-on-one. -on -one. We are very anxious and very eager and constantly looking after, I mean, looking for the best scholars. That's why we've recruited from all over the world. We're from Europe, we're from America, we're from Nigeria, the best of the best of, of the brains. But we've not stopped at that. We've also set up a center for innovation in teaching and research that is constantly doing workshops and seminars to continue to improve staff in teaching, use of technology. How do you bring the most latest technology to your classroom? Kwara State University is also redefining how universities directly affect their immediate environment with focus on volunteerism and community development. This is evident from its slogan, Education for Community Development. Senate decided that every student of Kwasu must take a certificate in community development in addition to their degree. This has been, this, we, have, we have started implementing this now. Uh, if you go to the center now, they will tell you all, our st all their students. They've identified several courses, our community development courses, that are projects that they have to do, 
they put their money there. It's, 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 it's exciting what our students are doing. What we are trying to instill in them is volunteerism. The idea that you can volunteer to your community without asking for a cover. That if you are rich, whatever you do in future, community is important. Go back and do something for them. Find out how to help the community, not by imposing your own desire on them, but by listening to them, to know what support they need, to see what problems they have, and work with them to resolve it. As far as we are concerned, one of those, th one of those things we enjoin our students to be very, very active with is uh, volunteerism. Volunteerism is an antidote, I'll put it that way, to unemployment in Nigeria. Wherever you go, they will ask you 10 of minimum, they'll say three years experience. How will you get that if every company keeps asking three years experience, three years experience, without the volunteers, there's not how you can get that. So while they are here on campus, we take them through the rudiment of volunteerism and we enjoin them to do that. We monitor them to make sure they do it. So if you have all those things being done, for one, two, three years, you have your experience. And community development can never be achieved without volunteerism. The university takes immense pride in practical learning and research programs because of the direct and visible impact of its host community, the state and the nation. We understand that we must be a university with a difference. The purpose of a university is community development is to do research that are relevant to the growth of the university, is to collaborate with industry such that, you know, they can start new things in terms of creativity, in terms of new products, and so on and so forth. And so, having understood this from the beginning, we know that we must put our fund in those areas. So let me tell you what we are doing in terms of research. We are supporting our undergraduate students to do research, aggressive research under supervision of staff, of academic staff. So we have a center for undergraduate research, the only university in Nigeria. Just tell me another university that has it. We're the only one. We are giving money, competitive. I mean, they have to submit their proposals and we give money to our undergraduate students to go and do research. We fund them. We put a lot of money into research and every semester we have what you call undergraduate research day in which we invite people from all over to come to our campus and these undergraduate students do exhibition to show what research areas they are working on, what they have found, what new products may come out of it. You know, they find some industries that are now ready to collaborate with them. And on that Nigerian research day, new researchers who have submitted applications will find results whether they get new, new, new funding, new grants or not. Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed visited the Kwara State University for the official commissioning of the College of Engineering Complex. The state-of-the-art engineering complex, which comprises eight lecture theatres, laboratories, office suites, as well as the college library, is a stellar addition to the university's achievements. The new College of Engineering at the Kwara State University will be the first in Nigeria to offer undergraduate courses in aeronautics and astronautical engineering while performing the formal commissioning of the one billion naira complex alaji ahmed said the project will play a great role in the overall plan to launch the state into industrialization as it will provide an environment for in-depth research and engineering innovation today's ceremony is particularly important in view of our decision to prioritize functional education such as science and technology in our resolve to make us one of the country's most economically developed and industrialized states within the shortest possible time. I also rejoice with the students who will be the first set of students in Nigeria to start courses in aeronautics and astronaut engineering. When the idea of Establishing Quasu was conceived, it was designed to be a model university. For this reason, the College of Engineering project was designed to include two other phases. The first phase 
which is being commissioned today is aimed at providing a sound starting point for our engineering courses in the university. Dr. Ahmed spoke on the importance of human capital and a functional education system for economic growth and diversification of the economy. Indeed, the human capital requirement for economic growth and diversification of our economy can only be achieved through skills training based on the needs of our economy. This is because no economy can develop and prosper without relevant skills, a vibrant informal sector, and industrialization. These sectors require thriving entrepreneurship as well as skilled engineers and scientists. This new complex, therefore, keys into our case to provide cutting-edge engineering education for our teaming youths. May I just want to commend the efforts of the Governing Council, the University Management, and indeed the Ministry of Tertiary Education for their contributions to the delivery of this project. I also appreciate the contractor, A&K Construction Company, as well as the consultant, Architect Paulada, for his job well done. Setting up of the Kwasu Microfinance Bank, found on the university campus, is part of its community development objective to serve the community within and around the institution's environment. The bank is the only operational financial institution within a 400-kilometer range. The reason for the establishment of Kwasu Microfinance Bank is not far-fetched. If you look at the most of the university, University for Community Development, you will see a similarity in ours too, that is Banking for Community Development. We have been located in a, a rural area. The university felt that it is also necessary to solve part of their problem by bringing financial service to the doorstep of the rural dwellers. So our target market includes the farmers, the rural dwellers, banking, the students and the student associations, the university community too. We have more than 50 communities in more local government, no banking service. So our target market are all these people. Another major program that sets the Kwara State University in a class by itself is the Center for Entrepreneurship. The institution had the foresight to start entrepreneurial training, providing a center dedicated to promoting entrepreneurship right from the start of the university. This started even before the Nigerian University Commission, NUC, mandated entrepreneurship training for universities in the country. Through the center, the university helps its students to identify and recognize opportunities that will create jobs, provide platforms for students to access startup funds, as well as get them mentored by successful business owners in the state. We are the leading university in entrepreneurship education. We are the only university in Nigeria that is doing a program, a degree program in entrepreneurship education, which is teaching young people to become teachers 
so that when they go out of Kwara State, they can go to secondary school and become teachers. Because federal government has made it compulsory for all schools in Nigeria, elementary, secondary school in particular, to teach entrepreneurship to young people because you know you want to cut them young. But nobody is producing teachers. It's a it's, it's a uniquely special area. And, and, and we realize that we must produce teachers if Nigeria must get it right. And we are the only university today that is doing it. And we are already working with NUC to create this benchmark. It therefore did not come as a surprise that the 2017 convocation lecture of the university was focused on entrepreneurship. The lecture was delivered by none other than His Imperial Majesty, the Orni of Ife, Oba Adeyeye Ogumusi, or Jaja the Second, in a lecture titled Practical Entrepreneurship Leeway to Nigeria's Economic Recovery and Growth, His Imperial Majesty made a case for entrepreneurship as an important strategy to rescue and rebuild Nigeria's economy. Are we breeding entrepreneurs or are we breeding consumers? Are we very proud? of what we do in this country? What efforts have you made in terms of innovation, in terms of technology advancement? What input have you given to the university? What research have you carried out? Are you just in this university? How proud are you to things that are of our home? Let us think about all these things. These are all the leeway to economic growth and recovery. Building business leaders with innovative ideas contributes to local, state and national development. With this pragmatic entrepreneurial culture entrenched in the institution's curriculum, the Kwara State University is indeed a fertile grooming ground for dedicated young entrepreneurs. Kwara State University has accomplished so much in such a short time. It is indeed gratifying to note that in less than 10 years of its existence, Kwasu has achieved the rare feat of being ranked 15th among universities in Nigeria. Let me use this opportunity to state that this administration remains committed to further growing Kwasu in line with its uh, master plan. Kwara State, it's good here.